Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I want to talk about 1990 film Deadly Manor. This is a movie by Jose Ramon Larraz. He has put out Vampires, which was one of his famous ones, which I enjoyed, and with a Y, just like my name, and Edge of the Axe, which I also enjoyed, and that had made its round being popular around the horror blu-ray community last year i think it was when it was released or maybe a little longer than that now but it's uh those are his most popular ones so deadly matter came out not too long ago and i wanted to check it out i've since watched it more times than i'd like to admit because i always feel like there should be more to it but i always walk away kind of feeling unsatisfied the story is these this group of friends is going to a uh, mansion or a house or whatever, and they start to get picked off one by one. They start noticing all this weird stuff. There's this, this pictures of all of this woman throughout this the house, like naked, and then they find human scalps, and it's, it starts to get like weird. But the problem is the movie is never scary. The characters are all kind of silly and goofy tropes, but none of them are very memorable. And then it takes about an hour for the movie to really like kick into high gear. And then the last maybe 20, 30 minutes, the killer is in the movie and that's it. And the killer, you know, is okay looking. I don't think they did such a great job. It's on the cover. So if you've seen the cover, you know what they look like. It, it I didn't quite grasp what the tie in between why the killer is killing these people. I mean, I got why, but it didn't make much sense to me. So I just thought the movie was okay. I feel like if they would have built it up a little bit for like maybe 20 minutes and then had the killer picking these people off and maybe crazy violence or, or just something to make it stand out, it would have been better. But it's just very mundane. It's not a lot happening. They're looking around. They think everything is weird. And then out of nowhere at the end of the movie, this killer crops up. And that's it. It's It's just... They find coffins in the basement, so they know something's up, but none of them are like with it enough to decide to leave or anything like that. So I don't know. There's just something about this movie that it feels like I feel like I should like it, but it just doesn't really go anywhere. And that sort of bothers me with movies. I'd rather you go somewhere crazy and the movie be absurd just because it's fun than not do anything. So overall... I think Edge of the Axe was much better, very more focused and interesting and fun. The killer was more interesting and cooler. I think um, Deadly Matter was just very middling. If you can find it to watch, I, I know I had seen it on YouTube a while ago, but if you could find it to watch for like very cheap perhaps, I wouldn't really recommend buying this one at anything close to full price. It just seems like a very mundane movie. So... Let me know, guys, if you've seen Deadly Manor, what you thought, or what your favorite Jose Larraz film is. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.